And as you can see here, this is the login screen or when a user visits the app for the first time. Now, in this case, Matthew just got off work. He's feeling kind of tired, but he was like, hey, like maybe I, I should check out this app that my coworker was telling him about. So he is going to create a page or cre excuse me, create an account. Next screen he sees is the create an account screen. He'll input his email and a password that he wants to use. Very straightforward, seen in a lot of different applications. And as Carl, the snowman mentions here, this is the information he will be using to log in next time he visits the application. So once all that's input, we'll log in. And the next screen is his preferences screen. Now, Matthew is a type of guy who gets overwhelmed by information. So we're going to say that instead of receiving an update every time that there's something new going on in the world, he's going to log in when he feels like he wants an update. And Carl will make sure to mention that he won't be offended if he doesn't want to see him that often. The next preferences page, Matthew is able to set what time of day he wants to receive his updates. Now, since like I mentioned, he gets a little overwhelmed with the information. He's just gonna log in when he wants an update. Now he's all set, very simple and straightforward. The next question that is presented to Matthew is, does he want to see today's COVID-19 update? Since he logged on because he wanted to check out the app, he's gonna say yes. Now, once he hits yes, he gets to this page. What's very important about this page is this is the first page that's tailored to Matthew's location. So in this case, he's living in San Bruno. So he's currently in San Bruno. And he's getting information tailored specifically from San Bruno. Now, what's key about this is that, yes, there is a headline. However, there is also a second line with this, where this information is coming from. So in this case, it's San Mateo County government, because as I mentioned before in the interviews, a lot of users really trusted the county government website. So the information seen here is presented from the San Mateo County government website. Now, once it goes through all that, it will go over to state news. Now, San Bruno is in California. So right here, it mentions that this information is regarding California and we see more information regarding COVID-19 from the California government. And as I mentioned before, sources are right here. So it shows the users exactly where they're getting their information from. Once we get to the bottom, we hit the next button. And now we are at the federal level, in this case, the United States. Now I walked you through the process earlier and it's it has the source and the headline, but now I'm going to show you what happens when you actually click on it. So once you click on it, you will actually be guided to where this information is from or the actual site it's coming from. In this case, it's about Biden signing in the $1.9 trillion act against COVID-19. Once Matthew's done reading this nice, short and quick, he can go back to the application. Now, if it's an iPhone, there'll be a back button on the top left and it just a quick little click and he's back to this page. Now, He'll scroll to the bottom and it will say next page because he is done taking in this information. Now, Matthew actually is seeing Carl right here on the screen and Carl says, that's, that's all for today. And Carl actually asks Matt, how are you feeling after all of that information? And you come up to the screen, it's very simple. There's a happy face, a neutral face and a sad face. Now, Matthew gets a bit overwhelmed and with information. So he'd probably go for something like a sad face. Now, once he hits the sad face, he actually gets a tailored little fact about the community, the COVID care community. In this case, 32% of the community of COVID, of COVID cares act also feel sad today. So Matt at this moment is probably saying, well, I guess I'm not the only one. I mean, even Carl's been a little bit sad today. Now, once he gets the little fact, he gets this screen. 
on the screen, it says that it's been proven that shouting helps relieve emotional tension. So Matt's presented with the opportunity to virtually shout. So right here, he has two options. He can say, what are we waiting for? Let's get to shouting or I'll pass today, but thanks. Since this is Matt's first time on the app, he's a little curious. He says, what are we waiting for? Let's check it out. Now he's taken to the screen and it says, shout with us. Right here, Matt is able to type in anything he wants. It could be what he's thinking, what he's feeling, absolutely anything. And once he's done, typing in that information, he is able to submit his shout. Now, once he submits his shout, he's taken to this screen and it shows some other things that people have been sharing in the community and how they're feeling. Some people are completely over this pandemic and just want to be able to go back to normalcy. Others can't believe it's been one full year of being in a pandemic, so on and so forth. If you wanted to keep reading, he would hit the next page. And if he's Done for the day, he'll say, okay, I'm done. So he hits the I'm done button because he wants to go to bed and he's taken to this screen. Now, as I mentioned before, this is the last opportunity for the user to go back and revisit COVID-19 updates. So if he wanted to go back, he would hit local, state or federal to go back to the specific page he wants. But Matt doesn't feel like going back today. So he's gonna say, "Never mind, I'm all done. So he hits this button and he's taken to the very last screen, which is Carl saying, that's, that's all for today. See you next time. And that is it for the COVID Cares app.